Right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Who are we with the Hebrew Israelites? What do we do? We come out a week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of the wicked kingdom. Hey, to wake our people up, man. Our darkness into the Lord's marvelous light. Right? We give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Mashiach Wamba Lake El Shai, man. That's to say, we give all honor and glory to Heavenly Father in the name Christ, who even is called Jesus, whose name is Yahweh Shai, man. And we're the Hebrew Israelites, and Christ is the Hebrew. Right? Without further ado, let me get the book of. Let me get Isaiah chapter 42, verse. Isaiah 42, verse. Right in the house and by to wake up our people, man. It's so good, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I like it. Brother in the green. Come in the word of God, brother. You get great, man. You feel the green spirit, man. You feel the green spirit. Isaiah 42 and 22. Bring it out. Isaiah 42, verse 22. Sister. Bus driver, come in the word God of God, sister. Man, you believe in God? Well, read that, read that. Isaiah 2, verse 22. But this is a people Louder. drunk and spoiled. But well, this is what? But this is a people drunk and spoiled. Hey, the Lord said, this is a people robbed and spoiled. A people are robbed and spoiled, man. Right? They're spoiled. They're yet this day in their captivity. We're still in slavery. We're robbed and spoiled. Right? We're not living our best lives. You think you're living your best lives. We're going through hell. Auntie, come in the way of God, Auntie. Right? We love that. Isaiah 42, verse 22. Read. But this is the people drunk and spoiled. Right? They are all of them snared in holes. Right? We're trapped in holes, man. Why do you think they call it a trap? When Jake is in the street, they call it a trap. They're in a trap, man. Right? And they think it's a good thing. Sister, you believe in the Lord? To come out of that Islam stuff, sister. So Worshiping the rock. You have to come out of that rubbish. If your sister, man, if you're one of our people. Right? If you follow the ways of the Islamic people. Same people had your people in slavery. Right? Reload that people. Isaiah 42 verse. Nah, we're not gonna hold that tongue, man. The Lord said cry aloud and spare not. We're not sparing your feelings. Just save the Lord, man. Right? Oh. But this is the people broke and spoiled. Come on. They are all of them. Snared in holes. Right? And they are hid in prison houses. And they are hid in where? Prison houses. In where? Prison houses. In where? Prison houses. And we're hid in prison houses. Who makes up the hey brother? Who makes up most of the jailers? Huh? Who makes up most of the jailers? Who makes up most of the jailers? Yeah, what people? What no, nationality? No, no, no. The Lord said these people are hid. And they're in prison houses in the Holy Bible. So what is that saying? What is that saying then? If the Bible is saying the specific people, us, yeah. hey, King, we're the Israelites, yeah. We're the Israelites. Keep the commandments, right? Jake saying no, you know, you know. But you don't keep the commandments. Right? You know enough just to know. You don't keep the commandments, man. The Bible says you know already. Of course you know. Sister, come in the word of God, sister. With a woolly hat, come in the word of God. Right? We're calling people out today, man. If they lack understanding, etc. or not. And if they don't believe, hey, they don't believe. Right? Reload that. Isaiah 42 verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Come on. They are all of them snared and holes. Right? And they are hid in the prison houses. And they hid where? They are hid in the prison houses. And the Lord said they're hid in prison houses. We make up most of the prison population, man. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We make it up. Not by coincidence. We make it up. Come on. Right. Right? Sister, come in the word of God, sister. Come in the word of God. Two minutes. Right? What about you, sister, with the KFC? Come in the word of God, sister. See, but our people are lost, man. Right? They're lost. What about you, brother? With the hood. Come in the word of God. Right? Everyone's gonna, gonna get a chance. Because no man can't say, oh, but they never told us nothing. Oh, but we saw them, but they never called us out. We're calling them out, man. Right? Especially if they're Israelites. Right? We have to use wisdom as well. We saw the we saw the, the pig them come up and try and question brother and certain stuff. Right? So they know they got oh they men that preach the word of the word of the Lord 
they're on the streets. Oh, are you from this place? Are you from that place? We have no sort of talk with them, man. We make it short and sweet. Huh? They are hid in prison houses. Hey, we're hid in prison houses, man. We can't even say that. that we have to say it with anger, man, because our people are in the jail system. Our people are trapped in jail. Every minute we're saying, free my brother, free my brother. The Bible said that, though. They're hid in prison houses. Sisters, brother, brothers, is that true that our people are in jail? Most of our people are in jail. The Bible said that, though. So what is that saying about the Bible, then? If the Bible says most of our people are hid in prison houses, what is that saying about the Bible? Is that a true book or a false book? It's a true book. Do you want to find out your nationality today? You got two minutes? Two seconds. Yeah? All praise yeah. to the Most High, man. All right, so what's your nationality? My nationality. Yeah, where's your father from? My father is from Jamaica. Where, what are you? Kenya. So we've got Kenya, we've got Jamaica. So what does Jamaica mean? The land of what? I'm not to say that because guess what? Where are we going to go to Jamaica? There's somewhere else. When they say we're from Africa, they stole it from Africa, took us to Jamaica. The word Jamaica means wood of water. Are you wood of water? I see that. You are wood of water. How are you wood of water? I see a night hoodie. I see Jordans. Can wood of water hold that up? No! That's what Jamaica means. Wood of water. Literally. Wood of water. Wood of water. Wood of water. Let me get started for you down the level. I'm going to show you something else. Psalms 59 verse 11. Psalms 59 verse 11. The inward court is that their houses shall continue forever. Right. And their dwelling places to all generations. Come on. They call their land after their own name. They call what? They call their land after their own name. What do they call Jamaica? They call their land after their own name. What do they call Africa? They call their land after their own name. What do they call America? They call their land after their own name. What is that saying? They call they rename the place that they conquer. If I go and take over a place and I name after my own name, what does that say? This is what they call evil, but what does that say about the Bible? The Bible is full of prophetic and scriptures. Some of them ain't even happen yet. Alright, we done. Nevertheless, man being in honor and by the flock, he is like the beast that perish. Alright, see, we even describe the beast. We're like the beast that perish. What happened in America the other day? Think about it already. I think we're talking about anything, you know. I'm going to say, what happened with the dark, what happened with the rats on? He said, the brother got shot down. The brother's away. He ain't on TikTok every minute. He ain't on Facebook every minute. Right? Read. There, that's no, okay. This is their way. Is their folly. This is their way, their folly. Let's get into why the brother got shot down. Let me get the book of Deuteronomy 28. Let me get straight. So you believe in the Lord? You believe in the Bible? Uh, I'm going to touch that. You know why I said woo when I said that? You know why? Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 Where it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Like Sister, you can come and you can come listen as well. The younger generation they're listening. Your older generation. Ah, I'm trying to make a point. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 Where it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So what do you think that means? He said, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What does that mean? He said, but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Keyword voice, hearken. What does hearken mean? Listen. So the Lord said, if you don't listen to the voice, what's going to happen? To observe and give all his commandments and his statutes. And his what? His statutes. Right. Which I command you to say, come on. that all these curses shall come upon you. That all these what? That all these curses shall come upon you. That's a curse or battle with it. So what happens to us as a people? If blessings come upon us, a curses. Whoa. Whoa. In the Lucian Barrow, bless or curses the people. In America, most of America, if not all of America. Curse! So that means what? The 
prophecy came to pass on us as a people. Let me get to Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 1. Let's find out who the Lord's talking to. Deuteronomy 29 verse 1. These are the words of the Deuteronomy 29 verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord provided Moses to make the children of Israel. To make who? To make the children of Israel. To make the children of Kenya. To make the children of Israel. To make the children of Jamaica. To make the children of Israel. Who's to make it? Who's the covenant, the agreement to make it who? Israel. So let's find out some of the curses that happened to the children of Israel. Let's get some of the curses. Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. We'll get, get some more before that. That's the main one. Get some more before that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, right. which the Lord shall send against me. Who shall send against me? The Lord shall send against me. So who put us in a station? What people put us in a station? How do they look? How about you? Who put us in a station? Who was staring in a station? Who's that? It's all for white people. They're not white people. Right? So the Lord said you're going to serve your enemies, really. The Lord shall sin against me in hunger and in thirst. In hunger and in thirst. Now, if you want to buy something from KFC, who owns KFC? Who owns McDonald's? Who owns Pizza Hut? What nation of people own that? It's all for white people. And in thirst. You want to drop it in the sky. Why do we got to pay for it? Why we got to pay for it? sack of water, what else? Smart water. Um, what else? Um, they still be up. We even got to pay the, the, the water bill. For your own house. Who so owns the water company? It's all for white people, really. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Who owns the textile companies that make that? Now we might own Goodrich. But on a mass scale, who owns the clothing companies? So for what? And in one of all things. Now in one of all things, he owns the passport system. He owns the death certificate, birth certificate, marriage license. The Lord said, this is your enemy. He's going to own all these things. He's going to be listen, be obey the commandments, serve the full God, serve other gods, so all these curses shall come upon you. So who do these curses put today? Us and the people. So by process of elimination, we will be equal to the battle. No, what people would we do? We'll curse the people because we don't come back to the commandments, but we're going to come back to the commandments surely and step past them, right? So who would we be equal to the battle? Sorry, sorry. We're trying to show them their heritage. That we're the Israelites, we've got chosen people. Show them. Right? Yes. We're trying to show them. No more gang violence, no more hitting your brother, stabbing up every minute, right, right, right. Jura, hot girl summer, none of these things. None of that. This is why a man keeps getting shot down in the streets in America. Every minute getting shot. A man just got killed the other day. They beat him to death. Five police officers. The Bible says the prison houses are full of his people because they don't listen, they don't hearken. All these thugs are going to come upon me and overtake me. So we curse the people. Even the beard, that's a, that's a uh, commandment to keep. Most of the people shave off their beard. Trying to put, uh, look nice for my girl. Nah, man. The Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And that's what we're trying to show them. All right? So on YouTube, you can search up Hebrew Israelites and do your own research. Thing, yeah? Peace and blessings. Right, so, who will be the according to the Bible? What nation? What covenant did the Lord make a nation? What um, nation did the Lord make a covenant with? Let me get you to only one of my. Let me refresh your memory. Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all who? Israel. Unto all who? Israel. So who are we according to the Bible? The covenant was made with the children of Israel and the curses match us. But the Lord never called us black or Kenyan or Jamaican or light skinned or dark skinned. What did the Lord call us? So who are we according to the Bible? The Israelites. We didn't use the Israelites. God told them people. Right? Let me get 68 now. You get one more curse. So if we broke the commandments and a curse came upon us, so what do we have to do for blessings to come upon us? And we must have eternal life and peace. If we broke the commandments and a curse came upon us, what do we have to do now for blessings to come upon us? Hold your hands up with that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. 
And the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again. Now what are the Israelites doing in Egypt under the hands of Pharaoh? Working. Was it free work? Was it for pay? Was it for money? Are you sure? Moses had to say, let my people go. Brother, let me ask you a question. What are the Israelites doing under Pharaoh? And we know this brother, we just spoke to him just a minute ago, so we're not going to act like we don't know him. <laughs> what were the Israelites doing under Pharaoh for Moses to say, let my people go? They were slaves. They were what? Slaves. They were what? Slaves. They were slaves under Pharaoh. Yes, Three so words. Just, just like, you know, government. Same, America, the same thing. Yeah. Slavery is what it's built on. Yeah. So the structure is coming to America, to England, all these places, the structure is coming. Right? So read that again. Deuteronomy 28 to 68. And the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again. So if the Lord says he's going to bring you to Egypt again, and we're slaves in Egypt, what was Egypt um, synonymous for? And what would it mean if he says, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again? And we'll be back into slavery. So Egypt is enslaving. Bondage between a rock and a hard place. Right, Rick? With, with shit. With what? With shit. How do you get to Jamaica? With shit. How do you get to Colombia? With shit. How do you get to America? With shit. Read. By the way, we're off. I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Come on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Tell your friend. Unto your enemy. Tell your amigo. Unto your enemy. Tell your football manager. Unto your enemy. The Lord said you be sold unto your enemies. Who bought us up the station? 20, 30, 60 sold. Who had they look? What nation? Black people bought us off the What? What? Right, right. Talking white people. You ain't seen Roots, Tony the Slave, Django. You ain't seen none of these slave movies. You haven't seen it? Right, so the Lord said the talking white man, woman, and child is an enemy. When have they ever done anything to us? They call us black, monkeys, darkies. They call us all these bad words. But the Lord said we are chosen people. We are the children of Israel. So who, should, who should we believe? The most high or some red boy who can't walk in the sun? Who? The most high, innit? So the Lord said, You only put us in punishment because we did what? We broke the com commandments. So if we broke the commandments and the curse came upon us, what do we have to do now? What's the opposite of breaking the commandments? Opposite of breaking the commandments. Fixing it back. What's the word I'm looking for? Fix it, but what do you have to do? Keep it. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Sold unto your enemies. For one man. For slave man. For one woman. Slave woman. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem you. We had Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey. Not one man can redeem us. You know who's come back to redeem us? Who's the saviour? Who died for who died for sins? Christ has come back to redeem us. No Christ, what kind of Christ was that? Gold. And how, how dark did he look? Did you say gold? That means you must have read that somewhere. You mean brass, right? Brown. So what color is brass? Yeah. Let me get that. Revelation 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revelation of Jesus Christ. Which Yahweh gave unto him. To which the heavenly father who remembered Yahweh gave unto him. Show unto your servants things which must shortly come to pass. Come on. And he said and signified it by his angel unto your servant John. To bear record of. To bear what? To bear record. To John bear record of the word of Yahweh and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai and of, the, of all things that he saw. And of all things that he saw. So Jesus' name wasn't called Jesus. His name was called Yahweh Shai. Remember, he's a Hebrew. Christ was a Jew, the king of the Jews. So I can never preach the name of Jesus. When the letter J is not even no more than 500 years old. His name was Yahweh Shai, the heavenly father's name was Yahweh. Now like, jump to 15, let's find out how Christ looked. Revelations. Who redeemed it from Jesus Christ? Let's find out how he looked. Chapter 30. 40, 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Revelation 1 verse 14. His hairs, no, like his head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now what texture is wool? Soft. But who has woolly hair in the face of the earth? Who has woolly hair in the face of the earth? What people have woolly hair? I gave you a, a, a hint by doing that. You, put, you get your afro comb, you comb out your wool. Oh, yeah. Christ has woolly hair. 
Christ has woolly hair, yeah. like sheep. Ash on hair. Christ, that's in the Bible. The Holy Bible. Read them, read them. Where white, like wool. What? As, as white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were a flame of fire. And he drank wine, right? And his feet, like unto fine brass. Whoa, and his what? And his feet, like unto fine brass. Now your feet, the same kind of your face. Yeah, right? Like unto fine brass. You know what kind of brass is? Brass is brown, read. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burn in a furnace. Now if I take that brown and burn it in a furnace, what colour is going to burn? So what colour is Christ? Where we go? What we done? And his voice, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice, the sound, clap, 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 clap. And his voice, the sound of, of many, many waters. Because he spoke with authority, right? We speak loud, because right. Christ spoke loud, casting out demons, right? right? When someone's sick, they just got a demon on them. You have to pray for them and give them medicine, obviously. We pray first, right? Let me get the book of. So, do you believe that we're the Hebrew Israelites? We're going to make it quick. We know it's cold. We're going to give you one or two commandments and then we give you some flies, and that's it, yeah? Let me get some commandments for the young people. Don't go nowhere, yeah, brother. Don't go nowhere. We're going to give you some commandments in a minute. Don't go nowhere. We're going to give you a minute, yeah? We ain't seen you for a minute, man. We ain't seen you for a minute. All right, let's get some commandments. Exodus. Two, yeah, just two, that's it. 31 verse 15. Let a friend. Let a friend. Come on. Exodus 31 verse 15. Six days may work be done, but the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. So what day is the Sabbath day? No, what day is it? What day is it? What day is it? From Friday when? Saturday. So Friday? Yeah, that's, that's all the right. Before night. So Sunday, no, sorry, Friday what? Sunset. See, he knows the thing. He knows it. We don't have to tell him. The Friday sunset, the Saturday sunset is a Sabbath day. So what day is it today? Sabbath. It's still the Sabbath. Saturday, it's still the Sabbath. Where will the Sabbath end? The Saturday sunset. They don't, hey, they don't point, you know. They don't point. They know. That's what I'm saying. It's in us to know. But we just have to come back and read for ourselves. Don't go in that. Catholic Church. Yeah. What is the Catholic? It's like it's Christian. Christian. Well, guess what? Christianness means follow Christ. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Did they tell you in that Christian church that we're the Hebrew Israelites? Did they tell you you've got to wear fringes? Did they tell you you can't eat pork, crab, shrimp, lobster? Did they do you in the service? They're not telling you that's there for more. When you go home, read the you got a Bible, innit? You must have a Bible. Yeah. Go home, read it for yourself. Read it. Look. This is what. You said it's not Catholic, but this is what the Catholic Church took out of the Bible. The Apocrypha. If you've got a phone, you can take a picture of that. This is the same book. Guess what? It's in it already. So what is that saying? If this was taken out and this is in it already, what is that saying? Someone tampered with it. Eh? To the point we have to take, we have to go and get the separate book. Right? So if you're gonna take the picture, or if you can remember it, yeah, it's called the Apocrypha. Which just means hidden the books in the Greek. And they took it out of the Bible. We get 6 and 11 Bibles, um, So the Sabbath day from when? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. We're Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Okay, I'm trying to test them, though. Let me get um, Leviticus 11 and 7. That's the last one. So they know the Sabbath day is from Friday, sunset to Saturday, sunset. We don't have to get Genesis 1 and 5. We don't have to break it down. I know you think you can finish up reading um, Exodus 31 and 15. Yeah, Exodus 31 and 15. Yeah, Exodus 31 and 15. Yeah, Exodus 31 and 15. You gotta keep the Sabbath day holy. Can't buy, sell, or drink. Read that. Leviticus 11 verse 7. And the swine. And the what? The, the swine. swine. You know what the swine is? The swine. You know what the swine is, bro? The pig. Bacon cheeseburger. Um, Frank Furter. You can't have them things. Sister, I saw you, though, sister. You see familiar faces. People that don't want to harp and don't want to keep the commandments. Hey, you don't do nothing to me. You're not embarrassing me. It's the most high. You're not keeping the peace commandments. Right? Read them. So you divide the hoof. So don't you divide the hoof. And be cloven footed. And be cloven footed. Yet yeah, you have not the card. We don't properly digest his food. The pig. The pig don't properly digest his food. They eat anything. If you put a dead body there, they'll eat it. If you put another pig there, they'll eat it. My mom, my mom doesn't let me eat. All praises to the most high, man. Almost gonna say it. All praises to the most high. His mom don't let him eat it. Guess what? The, the Lord said. Honor thy father and thy mother. 
You have to listen to what your mom says, isn't it? Yeah. Understand? Yeah. Because nothing's not going against the scriptures. Right, bro? They are clean on you. They are clean on you. So drop the knife because you don't eat pig. His mum's not letting him get pig. Right? These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Come on. Whatsoever I have fish and scales. Now what has been the scales in the waters? Fish, we have fish. You eat fish, yeah? We'll put it in the water. Please. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall you eat. Them shall you eat. And all that have not been the scales and scales in the sea. And all that have not breathing scales in the seas and in the rivers mm. of all that breathe in the waters Come on. and of any living thing right. which is in the waters, right. it shall be an abomination unto you. Now what doesn't have breathing scales in the waters? What doesn't have breathing scales? Wells, sharks, crab, shrimp, lobster. Calamari, fish eggs, huh? what else? And, uh, uh, catfish, all these things you can't eat. Do you eat any of these stuff? Yeah. All praise to the Mother's side. Yeah. Hey, so you're keeping commandments. Yeah. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Let me get um, number 1538, the last one. I've got to show you this. I've got, you know the Sabbath day already. He's kind of, he's kind of in the spirit, you know? He knows that he knows that eat pork, crab, shit, love stuff. Hey, he's kind of you got to show him something he doesn't know, innit? You've got to show him the fringes. You've got to show him the fringes. Yeah? Sister on the Afro, come in the word of God, sister. Right, read that. Numbers 15, verse we have to 38. Wait, come on, we have to teach them. Read. Speak. Speak unto the children of Israel. You can teach her as well. You can teach her as well. You might be shy. That's good for us. For our sisters to be shy. You might not want to be on camera. We don't. We never know. Go on, read. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who prays to the most? Read. And bid them that they make them fringes. And what? And bid them that they make them fringes. And command them. Bid is a whole Jewish word for command. Command them that they make them fringes. In the borders of their garments. Hey, in the borders of their garments, the beginning and the end of your garment, read. Throughout the generation. Throughout when? Throughout the generation. Throughout when? Throughout the generation. We're still generated as a people, so we should, we should still be wearing fringes, read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders. A ribbon of blue. So it don't matter what colour the fringe is, it just has to be a border of blue, which represents royalty. Right, read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that read. you may look upon it. Come on. And remember all the commandments. And what? Remember all the commandments. So the fringe is, is a reminder. No pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Love your brother as yourself. Love the most out of all your heart, mind, and soul. And so on and so on and so on. When you get older, grind your beard. No bald head like Mr. T. What else? No tattoos and so on and so on. There's over 600 and there's over 600 commandments. There's 630 commandments. Right? Not 10. 10 is the moral commandments. There's 613 commandments. Right? Because okay. remember the fringes is not in the 10 commandments, you know. Three. And do them. And do them. Look up on it and say, hey, someone offer me a bacon cheeseburger. I'm hungry. Can I eat it? I can't eat it. This is a reminder. The fringes help you remember the commandments, right? That's thus saith the Lord, man, right? Finish up on that. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, right? After which you use to go a whore. After which you use to go a whore. The eyes are one of the most wicked. It is the most wicked thing. You see your eyes and it's one. It's one. It's one. Your eyes see everything. I just want that new car. I want that new hoodie. I want, a, I want a Maybach, I want a penthouse, right? I want to go to Dubai. Your eyes just see it, but it's one it. That's why the fringe is a, is a reminder right, to keep the commandment. Not one, 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 one. Come back to the most side in truth and sincerity. Right? Brother, come hear the word of God, brother. Come hear the word of God. Right? So, what's your nationality before you go? You need some flowers as well. Jamaica, actually. Hey, what's your nationality before you go according to the Bible? Because Israel. of the Israelite, you got to get slowly, slowly, okay? When I first came to the this college, I was still saying Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. Right? After a while, you start saying I'm an Israelite. Obviously, I'm faithful, this right, whatever, the, you're in the law of Babylon, you're in their system, innit? But you know you're Israelite, you know you're God's chosen people, you know Christ is like you, you know Christ is an Israelite, and keep the commandments. Right, we're going to give you two flies. Yeah. Right? 
Huh? Yeah. Praise to the most high. Peace and blessings. Yeah. You can also go on YouTube and type in Hebrew Israelites, do your research, get your Bible. Peace and blessings. Huh? Right, so the word of the Lord is going out, man, to the broken hearted, man, to the scattered. Huh? To the scattered. You brothers, you sisters, and, and brothers, you believe in God? Yeah. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Or according to this world? What's your nationality according to this world? Nationality. What nation? What nation? What do you mean by nation? Like, where's your father from? Where's your father from? Nigeria. What tribe? What about you, brother? What about you, brother? Jamaica. Jamaica. So the word Jamaica means wood and water. I don't see wood and water. I see Jordans. I see a tracky. I see a hood on. You, you're not wood and water. We need to show you your true nationality according to the Bible. If you've got five minutes, we can show you who you are according to the Bible. You have to go. So search on YouTube, Hebrew Israelite. You'll be an Israelite, Hebrew Israelite. What about you, sister? What tribe? So you need to inquire these things. Ask your dad, what tribe am I from? Yeah? You might be an Israelite, so repent. Same thing with him, but he more likely knows his, his country. So more than likely, you might be an Israelite. Right? So brother, now we do it, you know. We're going to finish, eh? Right? Okay, so the word's going out to the broken hearted, man. To the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Sister, sister, sister. See our own people, our own people. She out there, she can't hear us. But if that's a red boy, she would have stopped and said, can I help you, master? Is there anything else? But your own brother, he looked down upon you. I, he don't look right. He's got a beard in his face. He must be a bum. Why his hair look like that? Our people are wicked, you see? They're wicked. Our people are evil, you know? Not all of them, but most of them. That's what some man say, I don't deal with my people. I'd rather deal with other nations. You know, the Lord's against interracial marriage. Let me get you John and send this to you. Give me your number, give me your number. Yeah. I, got, I want to deal with this brother here. Yeah. Brother, we can talk to you for a minute, yeah? yeah. I've got you, sorry. Take my number, take my number. Read it. Deuteronomy 7 verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriage with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Come on. Nor his daughter shalt thou pay unto thy son. Why? For they will turn away thy son. Reload that, reload that. That brother will talk to you something. Reload that. Deuteronomy 7 verse 3. So the Lord said we can't make marriages with the other nations. They'll have you worshiping Christmas, Halloween, and all these, all these folly, this foolishness, these abominations. You can't be doing these things. You understand? Read on. Hey, you got a daughter. You can't give your daughter unto the other nations. And what else? Israelites. Hey, wait, hold on. So you found it, yeah? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm Hey, hey, that's, hey, hey, this brother's a wise brother, you know. Because he didn't have to research it. He could say, forget what that, I ain't here what about. The brother's, what, he, let me see what they're talking about. What is Kanye West talking about? What is Kyrie Irving talking about? From Hebrews to Negroes. You understand? It's the top topic. Who are the Israelites? Who are God's chosen people? Who are the real Jews? I'm here to tell you, you are the real Jews. The Bible is your history book. You're not black, you're not African, you're not Hispanic, you're not Colombian, you're not Nigerian, you're not Guyanese, you're not Jamaican, you are Israelite, the pen. Do your research, sister of the glasses. Do your research. Find out who you are. They call you black. Hey, the Lord never called you black. That's madness. Right? <laughs> hey, the brother that works in the shop, maybe you have to go back to the break, man. But hey, at least that little bit of seed was planted, man. Right? At least, at least hey, let me get let me get first Corinthians 3 6. Right, first Corinthians 3 6. Right. Sister, you believe in God? Read that. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Hey, the Lord said they'll turn away thy son from following me. That's what they'll do. That's what we can't mix with these other nations, man. Right? Stay away from the heathens. Right? They can they can federate against you with one consent, man. They got your best interests at heart. We don't do. That they may serve other gods. That they may serve who? Other gods. That they may serve other gods, man. That's what they're gonna do. Lead you to serve other gods. So anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy you suddenly. Hey, the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you and destroy you suddenly, man. Let me get first Corinthians three and six. Sister, the third time now, three times. 
You've you forsaken the Lord, you've forsaken us. What about you, brother? You believe in the Lord? What's your nationality? Where are you from? One minute. What's your nationality? Hey, he's for the most high. That's not for me. He's for the most high. So the pet as the Israelite, the pet. Sister with the brains. Sister. You believe in the Lord, sister. See? The phone comes in more important. Hey, the phone comes in more important than the most high. Right? What about you, brother, with the slippers? Everyone get it. I know you're waking up. Hey, wake up to the Lord, brother. Come hear the word of God. Right? <laughs> Read that, man. First Corinthians 3, verse 6. Come on. I have planted a Apollo. Hey, so who said I have planted Apollonus? Wooted. Wooted. How I gave the increase. Hey, but the most high give it the increase. Hey, we believe in the most high. We know the most high will give the increase. Brother, what did you chat? You believe in the Lord? Come on. Hey, so it's not about if you broke down number 50 and fell into another brother. It's not about if you told the brother, keep the pass over. Hey, but what is it? What you owe that giveth the increase. Hey, but the most side that giveth the increase. That's what it's about, man. You can't glory and say, oh, I brought this brother to the truth. I showed him the precept. I gave him all his previews. I gave him his pocket book. I gave him his Bible. I gave him his Michi. No! It's the most side that giveth the increase, man. Sister! Sister! You see, our people have gone into the music world. Auntie, you believe in God? Come, one scripture, sister. Hey, the Lord's calling you, Auntie. One minute. Tell them wait. You see that? Read that again, King. Read that last bit. The last bit again, man. The last bit again. Verse 3, verse 6. The last bit. The last bit. Oh, last bit. The last bit. Verse 7. So then. Neither is he that planted anything. So then neither he that planted anything. He that watereth. Sister, you believe in the Lord, sister? One minute. One minute for the Lord, sister. One minute. Hey, you've got time for the most high, sister. You see what trouble this man we're in? What terrible times we're in? Let me repent as an Israelite. <laughs> I really you what the man is, which is the end of the right? Sister, you believe in the Lord? You believe in God? Come, 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 come. Sister, come, come. Come and hear the word, sister. The most has called you back. You got a time to repent. Alright? Go on, King. Salaki. Reload, reload it, reload it. Which one is not slacking? First Corinthians 3, verse 7. Right? So then, I Hey, I got a chance to slap. Sister, you believe in God? Let's make you a believer. Two minutes. Let's make you a believer. Let's make you a believer. You see that? You see that? Go on. First Corinthians 3 verse 7. So then, neither is he that plant anything, neither he that watereth, but Yahweh that giveth the increase. Hey, it's the most high Yahweh that giveth the increase, man. We're not doing nothing. No one should be glorying in anything, man. We're just doing what we're meant to be doing, right? The Lord chose us to go out there and preach the word. Hey, many are cool, but few are chosen, huh? Hey, they're cool. Some people come up, start for bit, and then, hey, it's not for them. Persecution, they flee. Yeah? But we're mighty men of the most high. And we're keeping the commandments to the best of my ability. What about you, brother? Come in the word, brother. One minute. Sister, come in the word. I see the smile on your face. Come in the word of God, sister. Before it's too late. <laughs> right? Our people want to come, you know, but it's just like, this oh, no. I just want to live for I don't want to hear stuff that's not true. They don't want to come back to the most high. Now, our sisters have put dresses on and skirts and hair man. According to the Bible, man. Keep the commandments and live. Let me get Proverbs 701. Sister, you believe in the Lord? See that? Man, this is too warm, man. My brother's got to get them hand warmers, man. Right? Brother Nathan got the hand warmers. I'm going to pray some more time. Proverbs 7 verse 1 My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments to thee. Come on. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and what? Keep my commandments and live. Hey, the Lord said keep my commandments and live, man, for the mouth of Solomon. Alright? 
Let me get proper straight back. I'm a law as the apple of thy eye. I'm a law as the apple of thy eye of my eye, man. Did you say it's thine eye or mine? Of thine, of thine eye, man. You keep the law, man. You to read, meditate upon the law. The law starts with the commandments of the most high, man. We're not telling you anything that's not in the Bible. As I said earlier, many man speak. They speak with the oracles of the most high, man. Yeah. Get what happened? Uh, Proverbs 3, man. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord. Hey, trust in the most high, man. We have to trust in the Lord. And what else? With all thy heart. With all thy heart. And lean not on Brother. Me. Brother. From the head one. Brother. Yo, yo. Reload that one. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Hey, so we have to trust in the Lord with all our heart, meaning all our mind. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Hey, don't lean unto your own understanding. Brother, come in the word, brother, with a dragon hat. Come in the word. I see you taking it in. He's <laughs> thinking, you know, he's looking about this. He's a lean not unto your own understanding. He's kind of, look down. He's kind of zoning, you know. The word is getting him, you know. And let me get Hebrews 4 and 12 when you finish. Hebrews 4 and 12, yeah? yeah? Lean not unto thy own understanding, man. You might think you're doing something right, you know. And you lean on your own understanding. And without no truth, matters, hey listen, matters perish, man. You see perish, paraphrasing. Without no truth, hey, a lot of things are disappointing, man. And let me get others. Hold that, Sister, come in the word of God, sister. Two minutes. Come, come, sister, sister. Every week, we see you, every week. Every week, we see you. Come in the word of God, sister. The Lord's calling you back. You've been doing what? Evangelizing. The women are meant to be doing evangelizing. It's the men that have to teach. The women have to teach the children and other women. And as the Bible said, the women have to be in quiet, man. In quietness. And humble and discreet. Not shouting and being loud. Huh? Proverbs 14 verse 15. The simple believe in every word. Right. But the prudent man looketh well to his going. Right. So the essential believe everywhere. But if you're a prudent man, if you're a wise man, you're gonna look at every world, everywhere to his going, right? Everywhere you're gonna be looking. Right? Come in the word of God, brother. Two minutes. Come in the word. Right? Sword, man. Any of your sharp samurai sword, man. Sharper than that, cut you. 
Right, keep the Sabbath day holy, or you're gonna perish. And the Bible brought out in the book of Exodus, chapter 31, man. Right, read. Right, the word of the Lord is quick, man, and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword. Read. Piercing even to the dividing asunder. It piercing even to the dividing asunder, right? Of what? Of soul and spirit. Of soul and spirit. And the word of the Lord is quick. Sharper than any two-headed sword. So, brother, let me tell you one thing, brother. No, that. I know everything, brother. That I heard. Well, okay, what day is it today? The day of the Lord. And what day is that? No, it's a Sabbath day. No buying, no selling on a Sabbath day. No, you serve the Lord. Okay, who do you serve? See, read, read up, man. You have no folly, man. No folly. I said, I said, no, you said the Lord. Okay, cool. So who do you serve? Right? Please. And the joints of Admiral. It's like it. Remember the Lord said, the day of the Lord is darkness, you know. So you don't want to serve the Lord. And what is it going to be for you? He said, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. How much more the people that don't even want to keep the commandments, that don't want to serve the Lord. They want to do what they want to do. Right? Read on. And is it the son of, of the thoughts and intent of the heart. Right. My heart is there in freedom. That's it. That's it. You can get into your heart, man. When they're telling about a certain stuff, you want to give a rebuttal back and say, ah, I, I know. What do you say? First, you say, I know the Lord. They ask, okay, so what day is it? You say, it's, it's, it's the Lord's day. So what day is that? You say, no, it's my day. So you can't even make up his own mind. He's a double-minded man. As the scripture says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Un unstable. He knows it, that's what he said, he knows it. So if you know it should be better than the Sabbath day then if you know. If you know better, you do better, that's Acts 7 and 30. Right, the Lord with our illnesses and now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Right, and how do you repent? Come, you change. Right, are you ordered? Right, bring up his Psalm 135 verse 14. For the Lord will judge his people right. and he will repent himself. Right? Every man's gonna have mercy on his servants. Right? Reload that again. Reload that again. Psalms 105 verse 14. For the Lord will judge his people. Hey, the Lord's gonna judge his people, but what? And he will repent himself concerning his servants. Hey, the Lord's everlast the Lord has everlasting mercy for his for his servants, you know? Everlasting mercy. His mercy is good forever. Right? Forever. So, children of Israel, you got to pray, read, fast, repent, repeat, you got to keep the commandments and do us right. Man. Let me get a book of Ezekiel 3 and 7. Right? This word is to save your life, and this word is to save your life. Right? Brother, you believe in God, brother? You believe in the Most High? You believe in the Lord? What's your nationality? Nigerian. Nigerian. What tribe? Yoruba, you'll be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. This is your history book. Do your research into it, brother. We're the Israelites, we're the real Jews. We're God's chosen people. Right, peace. Read, read that. Please. Ezekiel 3 verse 17. Son of man, I made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Unto the house of who? Unto the house of Israel. Hey, the Lord made us a watchman unto the house of Israel. You saw more blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of Israel. God shows them people above all people, man. That's thus saith the Lord. That's in your Holy Bible. Right, read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Come on. And give them warning from me. And give them what? And give them warning from me. Hey, the Lord said, give them warning from me. So we warn a brother to keep the Sabbath day holy. Tell a sister, put on a dress, a head wrap and a skirt. It's warning from the Most High. We don't get anything out of it other than the blood of our hands. Right? Sister. Sister with a scarf, you believe in God. What's your nationality, sister? Jamaican. What does Jamaican mean? One minute, sister. You found out your true heritage. You don't even want to find out who you are according to the Bible. You call yourself a byword. Jamaican just means wood and water. This is why the Lord said, my people are the strength of a lack of knowledge in Hosea 4 and 6. Out of the mouth of Hosea, the prophet. Right? 
How about the sister? Sister, come in the word of God, sister. Two minutes, two minutes. Come, come, two minutes. Come in the word of God. You see that? They look and then they run, you know. They move the shoulder. Like it says in Zachariah, man. They move it. What, you? Nah, bro. Read that. There's the word of up at my mouth. I skip them warning from me. Read that last bit again. I can't hear you. Hear the word at my mouth. Hear the word at my mouth. And give them warning from me. And give them warning from me. So we have to warn our people. Sister, in the brown leggings, come in the word of God, sister. Two minutes. You see that? You see don't want to hear the word of the Lord. Right? Read on. And I say unto the wicked, they shall surely die. Hey, when the Lord says unto the wicked, they shall surely die. And thou givest him not warning. So if we don't warn the people, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. And this is the wicked Israelites, right? The wicked from his wicked way. To serve his life. To what? To serve his, to slack him, to save his life. To save his life. Hey, so the word of God is to save your life, children of Israel. Sister with a body. Two minutes. Let me give you one scripture, sister. Let me, let me uplift your day, sister. Put a smile on your face for the Lord. To keep the commandments for yourself. Even, not for the Lord. Uh, with the word of God, sister. You have to repent as an Israelite. And keep the commandments. Uh, our people, we know our people going through hell, man. Up and down. Bill after bill after bill. Uh, we yet this day in our captivity. As it says in Marine chapter 3, verse 8, man. Let me get it after bill. You know? The same wicked man. Shall die in iniquity. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. For his blood will require at thy hands. Hey, so we don't want the blood on our hands, man. We don't want the Lord to require that blood on our hands, man. So we're getting the blood on our hands. So then you repent. Come in the word of God. Repent. Right? Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. You're not a way to look. We don't. Come on. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and yeah, it's like warn the wicked. So we warn the wicked. We turn them to repent, right? And he turned not from his wicked. They say, no, chap, I ain't hear what you're saying. I want to serve what I, I want to serve whatever God I want to serve. I want to do what I want to do. Right? You want that, that red man book? Right? He turned not from his wickedness. And he don't want to turn from his wickedness. Nor from his wicked ways. Nor from his wicked ways. He shall die in his iniquity. He shall what? He shall die in his iniquity. Now he's gonna live. He shall die in his iniquity. Now he might make it. Shall die in hey, the Lord said you shall die in your iniquity, man. I mean, you're going to die in your sin. If you don't want to serve God, you're going to die in your sin. Play the upon tables. Whether you like it, understand it, accept it or not. Right? As the mighty elder priest of that said. Right? Read that last question. Yet if thou wert born a wicked, and he turned not from his wickedness, right? nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. He shall die in his iniquity. Read. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Hey, but guess what? We delivered our soul, man. We got the blood of our hands, man. We delivered our soul. We got the blood of our hands. That's it, Lord. Right? That's it. Let me get the book. Let me get the book. Oh. Brother, you need a little brother. Brother. See that? See that? They refuse to listen. Let me get back around. Uh, um, the word of Lord going out, man. For our people, man. The Israelites. God shows them people. 7 11. Seven. Listen, they refuse to listen to the words of the Most High. And what else? And pulled away the, the shoulder. And they moved their shoulder away from hearing the words of God. Right? And stopped their ears. And they stopped their ears. That they should not hear. That they didn't want to hear, since they believe in God, sister. You see that? Our people don't want to hear the words of God. What about this, sister? Sister, you need the Lord, sister. Come on, sister. Repent and wake up before it's too late. Right? Read. 
With shit. With what? With shit. And the Lord said he's going to bring us into Egypt again, to slavery again, with shit, man. Right? By the way, I speak. Slap it. By the way, we're up. I speak unto thee. Thou shalt sit no more again. Right? And, th and, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And the Lord said we were sold unto our enemies, man. The red boy. Right, sister, you believe in the Lord, sister? Right? And listen, hey, listen. She confounded herself so many times with her own speech. You know what she said? She said, do you know about Palestine? What did I say to her after that? They're not meant to be in that land. He said, I know all this. You're preaching to the wrong person. So why would you tell me, don't know about Palestine, if they're not meant to be in the land? What, 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 what sense would that make, you telling me about Palestine, if you know they're not meant to be there? They think we don't know nothing. A lot of people don't read. Right? She says she's from the sub Sahara Desert. So how the hell did you get into Algeria? Then? Ah, it's near there. So if somewhere's near another place, does that mean you can just go there and take it? Right? All these people are, are, are um, guilty of taking over other places and doing deceit and evil. Right? They're all guilty of it. Right? So when destruction comes, none of them can't say they're innocent. About is that how you dress someone, queen and sister? And we were chatting to her, you know? We were even chatting to her. Right? We were even talking to her. Uh, out of the oldest sister there. No, he wasn't. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses shall the matter be established. Right? You believe in God's sister? If you're a sister, we don't know who's the sister and who's not, man. Right? So that's what we ask where she's from. So she's from Algeria. They're not our people, man. They ain't gone through nothing what our people went through. What nation has not had a, um, a part in their spoil? Yeah, you know, it's the chicken, I believe, uh, second map of it. Right? What nation has not had a part, man? They're all guilty, man. About your brother got locked up in this kidnap and relock. And that ain't nothing compared to us losing our nationality, getting put on slave ships by the dirty, nasty red man and red woman. Emmett Till, right? You people are wicked people, man, with coarse hair and disgusting skin. You can't even walk in the sun, right? But let me use wisdom, man. Let me focus on you. Right? We know what's what, what we know. Pain up a table. And then to say it, and they accuse us. Are you being this? Are you being that? Get them, Demon come out of nowhere. I almost forgot where I was at. Man, let's focus on the word of the Lord. Let me get the book of Proverbs 27 and 2. Get Proverbs 27 and 2. I'm glad someone found this or something. Scare me to be. Come up here and tell me any kids you don't know nothing. They ain't been, no one ain't been for what we've been through. Not one nation has been through what our people have been through. So not one of them can chat or open their mouth, but they right. keep their mouth I'm shut. Back to Mormons. I'm back to the Mormons, mate. And what do the Mormons, Mormons believe? What do the Mormons believe? Latter-day Saints. What do the Mormons believe? Believe believing God. Right. No, what do the Mormons believe? Oh, the they, Mormons they, believe they, it's a curse to be black skin. That's what the Mormons believe. Right. The Mormons believe it's a curse to have dark skin. Oh, but guess what? Oh, Christ oh, was oh, dark oh, skin. The Mormons believe that it's a curse to have dark skin. Google it, Google it, Google it. Google it. No, but that's what the Mormons used to believe. Now they're shying away from it. They said, no, we don't believe that no more. And if you get Vigilago, right? You get dark skin and you want. Look at that, you get what Vigilago, right? Yeah, but that's leprosy. That's leprosy. That's kind of leprosy, but. Like Moses' sister had leprosy. This her skin went white. Oh, wait, one thing, one thing. We're all right. God, we love the real love each other. Well, guess what? There's one people that put another people into slavery, and they ain't paying for that yet. Well, no, There's one know, people that put another people into slavery. I'm saying, 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 yeah, we know, we know that. Listen, listen to this, yeah? How do you feel about slavery? I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm devil, I'm sorry. I'm, How do you feel about slavery? Well, I think it's rock and roll. I think the world, the country, it's right, it's right, it's right. Huh? This country, it's what we're going to vote. Yeah? So, do you think slavery is a bad or good thing? Uh, it's bad, fuck So, do you, do you feel a certain type of way about slavery? It's a bad fact. Does it make you feel bad? Yeah, of course it does. You know, there's a thing that the Lord said, there's something you can do to show how bad you feel in the Bible. No, oh, I, I want the Bible. Bible. 
Let's see what the Lord said we, we should do if we feel bad about slavery. We, we, we can't do that. No. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. But we can't keep the calm that we got it together. But guess what? They got free labor of our, of our ancestors. Let's see what the Lord said. Right? The Lord people, what about, what about your people your are people staying in ships. Our people what about are on the boat. We haven't paid for slavery yet. We haven't paid for slavery yet. So you have honest? to pay for slavery. What about your this honest? is the Holy Bible. Read that. Isaiah 49 verse 23. And kings shall be nurse and fathers. Right. And their queens shall be nurse and fathers. Because remember, our foremothers used to breastfeed your babies. Read. They shall bow down to thee. Hey, the Lord said, if you're sorry, bow down to us. Get in the knees back and bow down to us if you feel sorry for slavery. If not, enjoy your day, man. Read that again. Isaiah 49 verse 23. And kings shall be nursing fathers. Right. And their queens thy nursing mothers. Come on. They shall bow down to thee. Right. With their more back the orange, back the orange, orange people. And right. lift the dust of thy feet. The Lord said, if you feel sorry for slavery, bow down to us. Yeah. And lift up the dust of our feet. Yeah. The, yeah. the yeah. Irish people got to play for slavery as well. I've got a, la a last name as an Irishman. So the Irish people got played for slavery as well. The Germans, the Dutch, all of them got played for slavery. Every single one of them. The French, the American, they're all devils and they got paid for slavery. That's dust there for the Lord, man. Let me get Isaiah 14 and 21. Let's find out what's going to happen if we don't want to bow down. Sister, is that true or not? Even a sister can say that's true. A sister can say that's true, man. Everyone benefited of us. We well, invented the stop at the automatic gear stick, the sanitary pad for women to have their period. We invented you everything, but we don't own anything because we're under a curse. Right. Our people need to come back to the Lord's statutes and commandments. Yeah, and so we can pour, crab, shrimp, lobster. We keep the Sabbath day holy, to love their brother and their self, and to love the most out of all their heart, mind, and soul. Still Read that. Isaiah 40, verse 23. One thing, one thing, we, one thing you forget about. One thing. God loves everyone. No, God doesn't love everyone. He has a chosen uh, people, the Jews. He has read the Bible. He has read the Bible. Read. Isaiah 14, verse 23. I will also make you. Prepare what the Lord say? So all the people that benefited of the slavery got prepared for death and destruction. Read. For his children of the iniquity. Of the sin. Of their iniquity, right? of their fathers. Of their fathers. We are thankful for the four mothers. They be benefit of the so-called right. white privilege. We can walk into anywhere and get served and treated like who? Like a prince. When we're the real princes, right. we're the real kings. <laughs> Our women are the real princes. I'm in fucking Belmarsh. Hey, guess what? That means you're two-time loser. Yeah. You're two-time loser in your own kingdom. Because yeah, you got all the spoils from oh. slavery. Oh. All the oh. free labor, the cotton, the sugar came from Jamaica. You benefit from everything. All the cups of tea, everything. Right? Read up. That they do not rise. Hey, that's what God said. That's what the Lord said. You benefit of everything. So guess what? You've got to go into slavery for all the evil your people done. And the people, all, the people walking past smiling. So if you don't want to bow down before the men of the Lord, you go. I'll bow down. So bow down then. Bow down. I never bow down to no one. Alright, go. I do not bow down to that they did not rise, nor possess the land. Hey, hey, he's a proud man. Proud. He's a proud man. He's a proud man. Right? Read. Nor possess the land, nor fill the face. And that's the English man to you. The English man is a proud man. Right. A devil, a red devil. Right. An evil man. And destruction is right. coming for him. Because guess what? Christ is coming back with fire. Right? Let me get Isaiah 66 and 15. Right. And this is not my own words. This is in the Holy Bible. You can read it. Right? The Lord not in the Christian church because you don't keep no commandments. So the Lord said, your eyes don't see your teachers. And you're seeing the men of God. You believe in God? Yeah. What's your nationality where are you from? Jamaica. What does Jamaica mean? Jamaica means wood and water. Are you wood and water? Are you wood and water? No. So why are you putting yourself something that means wood and water? Because our enemies told us once we've got a slave ship that you're black, you're Jamaican, you're light skin, you're dark skin, you're African American, which is two continents. Our people don't even inquire who they are. You know your history is in the Bible. Did you know that? You know your princess. This is what God said. I didn't say that. Thank the Lord. I didn't say that. Let me get the book of Isaiah 1 and 3. I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures there. I know you've got something to go, you've got things to do. Let me give you a couple of scriptures. 
Right, then you get Isaiah 1 and 3. You can drop Isaiah 6. Isaiah 1 verse 3. Isaiah 1 verse 3. The ox knows his owner. Right, so the ox and the dumb animal are castrated cow, or castrated bull, sorry, a castrated bull, three. And the ass is master's crib. The ass is a jackass, a donkey. You know that to get back to his master's crib, three. What Israel did not know. What who? What Israel did not know. Now what people on the face of the earth don't know who they are, don't care. They want to be bad be summer, they want to be drill rats. Uh, where's my ox? Uh, how did my hair look? I've got a new weave. Uh, what what um, earrings you got in? What people are fascinated by these things? You're gonna say what people? They're fascinated by hot girl summer. They're fascinated by hot girl summer and carnival and dancing every minute. They're doing drill rap. Come on, sister. Red people ain't, white people ain't doing that. So called black people are doing that. They're fascinated by all these things. The Lord said, but Israel do it, but no, my people don't consider. We don't care who we are. We call ourselves black. But guess what? My jacket's black. Can I be black if my jacket's black? Can I be black if my jacket is black? No! Black is a colour and a prayer box. Is there a land called black? What land is called black? Is there a country called black? So how can we be black then? It's a byword, a proverb. Anything other than your God-given nationality is a, is a byword. Who is, who's God's chosen people? Let's find out. Let me get first Corinthians 16 to 30. First, no, sorry, first Chronicles. First Chronicles. First Chronicles 16 and 13. Right? We're here to tell you, sister, you're an Israelite. You're a Hebrew Israelite. God's chosen people above everyone. Our women started wearing crocs. Every other nation of women started wearing crocs. Right? Who's wearing crocs before our women started wearing it? No one. Who's putting their hat backwards before our men started doing it? No, these are things you got to think about. You've got to realize. These are things you got to realize. As a man from Seattle says, these are things you've got to realize. That's real talk, you've got to realise these things. Because man overthink these stuff and worry about TikTok, uh, Tory Lanez and, and Megan Thee Stallion. Forget that! They're all paid, they're all paid. That might even be a made up story, just to get you not thinking about what Kanye West said. What did Kanye West say? What did Kyrie Irving retweet? What is he getting in trouble for? They're all saying we're the real Jews. We're God's chosen people. And they're getting in trouble for saying we're the real Jews. Because they want us to think that we're black, that we're Jamaican. That we're Hispanic, that we're Native American, that we're Colombian. No, the Lord said we're the children of Israel. First Chronicles 16, verse 13. Oh, ye seed of Israel. Oh, ye seed of who? Oh, ye seed of Israel. Who's the Lord talking to? He said, Oh, ye seed of Israel. Did he say black woman? Did he say light skinned woman? He said, You seed of Israel. Right. Don't let them call you black or mixed race and none of these bywords. God called you an Israelite, the chosen people above everyone. They got to get bum injections, lip fillers, right, right. suntan lotion right. to look like you. BBL to look like you. Madness. Makeup. They need to wear makeup because there's no colour in their skin. It's a fact. I'm not saying anything wrong. Right. Right, read that. Read that thing. Oh, you see the Israel servant. Right. The chosen of Jacob. The chosen one. The chosen of Jacob. is chosen one. So wait, we're the chosen ones. The reason why we keep getting shot down in the streets, hands up, don't shoot. Black lives matter. All this because we're the chosen ones. Because guess what, we're not black. The Lord never said march up and down. <laughs> like a silly, <laughs> like a robot. But the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So do you think we're keeping the Lord's commandments if we're getting shot down the streets? No. People want to celebrate what? Halloween, birthdays. Oh, I'm a Gemini, I'm a Taurus. All these folly, we never used to do these things. Christmas, you know Christmas is condemned in the Bible. We're not meant to celebrate none of these pagan days. That's why we keep going through hell. No Christmas, no Halloween, no birthday, none of these things. Let me get the book of First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Right, I'm going to round out, I'm going to round out. I'm going to round out. First Kings 8, verse 46. Come on, come on. 46. If they sin against thee. If they what? If they sin against thee. Hey, so Solomon is prophesying. He said, if the children of Israel sin against thee. For there is no man that sinneth not. Hey, there's no person that don't sin. Everyone sins, isn't it? You have to repent. That's what you have to repent. Right, read. And thou be angry with them. And the most high be angry with us, the Israelites. 
and deliver them to the enemy. So did we not get delivered to our enemies on a slave ship? Yeah. Around the four corners of the earth. Right, read. So that they carried them away captives. Right, we were captives. Onto the land of the enemies. Onto the land of the enemies. This place, Babylon, America, England, is the land of our enemies. We don't own nothing in this place. Right, read. Far or near. Far or near. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. If you're going to bethink yourselves. In the land river, they were carried captive. Right, in our captivity, if we think about ourselves, hold on, we sinned against God by breaking the commandments. So if we broke the commandments and evil happened to us, what do we have to do now? What's the opposite of breaking something? Fixing it, which we would be keeping the commandments. Right, read. I repent. And what? Repent. So what does repent mean? We're gonna get that, we're gonna get that in a minute. Hold that foot. Read. I make supplication. I make what? Supplication. I make supplication. You have to make a prayer to the most high. Come on. Unto thee. Unto thee. In the land of them. In the land of them. That carry themselves captives. That carry themselves captives. Saying. What do we have to say? We have sinned. We have what? We have sinned. So we have to acknowledge our sin by saying we have sinned when we make our prayer, our supplication to the most high read. And have done perverse, perversely. Perversely. Right? We have committed wickedness. We have committed what? W wickedness. We have committed wickedness by serving false gods. Right, read. And so return unto thee. And so what? Return unto thee. What does repent mean? Return unto thee. To return unto the Most High. Meaning to change, read. With all their heart. With all their mind. The heart represents the mind in the Bible, right? And with all their soul. And with all your soul, right? In the land of their enemies. In the land of your enemies. And we're still in the land of our enemies. So people might say, hold on, we're not in Jerusalem. We're not in Israel right now. So we can't do that. No, it says in the land of your enemies. And anywhere in the four corners of the earth. All this world was made for our sakes, right, read? Which led them away. Which led them away? Captive. Captive, yeah, that's all right. Let me get, um, Acts 3, that is, that's like, 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 first step. Fine. Yeah, chapter. And that's first Kings, uh, eight and, eight and four. You, you can get, you can even get eight and one. You can get even eight and one. Start from the beginning. First Kings, eight and one. Right, so we're going to show you about repentance, sister. We're going to give you some commandments and then that's it. Acts 3 and 19. <sighs> it's vital that people keep the commandments and do what's right, man. Vital. Acts 3 verse 19. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. What the Lord say? Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So repent. So the Lord said, repent. Be therefore and be converted. What do I do if I convert a pound to a dollar? I'm changing a dollar to a pound to a dollar. Right, read that again, sister. Acts 3, verse 13. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So what is repent similar to? Converting. Now if I convert, I convert a dollar to a pound, what am I doing? If I convert a dollar to a pound, check. Changing it. So the Lord said you have to change. Repent means to change. And be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. So we want our sins blotted out, sister, right? So we have to repent and change. Right? That's it, the Lord. So if you believe that we're the Israelites according to the Bible, hold that answer. Let me get you to twenty six here. I don't believe we got that. Let me show you the slave ships in the Bible. Because how do our people get to Jamaica? Chips. Let's see if the Bible says that. Let's see if the Holy Bible says that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now what are the Israelites doing in Egypt? What are they doing? Moses let my people go, Prince of Egypt film. What are the Israelites doing underneath the hand of Pharaoh? What are they doing? Slaves. So what would Egypt mean? If the Lord said I'm going to bring you back into slavery again, what would that mean? Bring you back into slavery again. Right? So the Lord said he's going to bring you back into slavery again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. How did we get to Jamaica? With ships. With ships. Yes, brother. Peace and blessings. 
we got to Jamaica with ships. It's a biblical prophecy. It's a biblical prophecy to happen to our people that you're going to go into slavery by ships. Because Egypt and Israel, you wouldn't need a, you wouldn't need a ship to go there. They walked out of Egypt. Moses walked out of Egypt and split the Red Sea. Right? So this is talking about modern day America when you went into the um, slave ship through the transatlantic uh, slave ship. Like the 1600s, right, Rick? By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again. Sister, come get your heritage, sister. Come find out who you are going to the Bible. Alright, sister, Rick. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And there what? You should be sold unto your enemies. Now who are we sold to you once you got to slave ship? I'm sure you see you told me as a slave, roots, Django. Yeah, but who bought us? What nation of people bought us? White people. So good white people. Because they're not white, they're red. Right? Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Come on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You sold unto what? You sold unto your enemies. You sold unto who? You sold unto your enemies. You sold unto your friend. You sold unto your enemies. So who we sold to, sister? Because the Lord said that's our enemies. The so called white people. Yeah. The so called white people. The Lord said that's your enemies. The Lord said you sold unto them, your enemies. But why was you sold unto our enemies? Let me see if you're following the story and what happened. Why was we sold unto our enemies? What did we do? We sure? Let me get Deuteronomy 28 15. I don't think we brought this out to you. Sorry, I don't think we actually brought this out to you. We're teaching so much people, I forgot we didn't even bring this out to you. Mama said, read this. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Let's go back to the city. Come. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken, if thou will not listen, hearken is the old English word for listen. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Sisters, come in the word of God. You ain't gonna look, you ain't gonna stare, come in the word of God. Right? She looking, I thought she knew the way she was looking. <laughs> to observe the people his commandments. Come on. And the statutes which are commanded this day. Right? That all these curses. That all these curses. That all these what? All these curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So I will curse the people. I will curse as the people. Because the Lord said, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Are we curse the people? Yes. Why are we cursing the people? Because we didn't listen. We didn't keep the commandments. Let's find out what happened. If, let's find out what would have happened if we kept the commandments. Let me get 28 one. One, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe to do all his commandments which are commanded this day come on. that the Lord thy God set thee on high above all nations now, are, we on, are we on high above all nations of the earth are we on high above all nations of the earth do we own all the shops all the nail shops, all the hair shops, all the food shops. We own everything. No, the Lord says He's going to put us on high if we keep the commandments. So if we're going through a curse now, are we keep, did we keep the commandments? No. No. So the Lord put a curse upon us because we didn't keep the commandments. So what do we have to do now, what do we have to do now sister? We have to start following the commandments. Following the commandments, right? Let me get... Let me get this on me and say, finish up and out. We can finish up and out. We're going to give you some commandments and we're going to give you some leaflets and then we can go. Like to observe and do all his commandments which I command you to stay. Come on. That the Lord thy God will set thee and I above all nations of the earth. That's 20 to 2. Oh, lovely. And the Lord that slap it, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again to ship right. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Come on. Thou shalt sit no more again. Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Be sold unto who? Sold unto your enemies. Come on. For one man and one woman. And no man shall buy you. So we are sold unto our enemy for slave man and slave woman, and no man shall buy us. Buy is the old English word for redeem. Who do we have to redeem us? Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey. You know who's coming to redeem us? Christ, a so called black man from the tribe of Judah. Right. Do you know how Christ looked according to the Bible? Yeah. Let me get Revelation 1 and 1. Let's find out if Christ is a so called white man in the Bible. Let's find out if Christ is a so called white man in the Bible. Right? Let's wait and see. 
Revelation 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ, read. Which God gave unto him. Which the Most High gave unto him. To show unto his servants. To show unto his servants. Things which must shortly come to pass. Come on. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. Right. So John the Revelator is going to show you how Jesus Christ looked. Read. To bear record of to the bear word. record of the word. Of God. And his testimony of Jesus Christ. And of things that he saw. And of what? Things that he saw. And of things that he saw. So John the Revelator saw Christ. Right. He's going to show you things that he saw. Jump to 14. Verse 14. And his head and his hair were white like wool. And his what? Head head, who has woolly hair on the face of the earth? What people have woolly hair on the face of the earth? What one people on the earth have woolly hair? Do you? Check your hair. <laughs> Is it weedy? Is your hair fluffy? Yeah. Is it woolly? Yeah. It might be a tight, it might be a light texture. Huh? You've got 4C, I believe you've got 4B. You got four A. You got all the. I don't, I don't really know it about too much about. It. I think what's this? What is it called? Oh. Well, it's about the texture of your hair. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Since I had to tell me about four C, four B, and all these sort of things. But it's your hair texture, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. So Christ had woolly hair, right? We only have woolly hair as a people. We're the only people. We don't have dog string hair. We have woolly hair. Right. Right. Read. White, white like wool, as white, white as, as snow, wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. When a so-called black man drinks, the corner of his eyes go red. Right, read. Verse 15. And his feet like on divine brass. Now, is your feet the same kind as your face? What is it? Mostly it is. It might be a bit light, a bit darker, but it's mostly the same as your face. Right, read. Right, right. As if they burn in the furnace. As if. Are right, you ready? And his feet like, like on divine brass. And his feet like on divine brass. So, what color is brass? Brass. B R A S S. Because Christ had feet as brass. Christ had brown feet. So, that image in the church is a lie. Right? So what colour is brass? Brown. Brown, right, read. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. Now if I take that brown and I burn in a furnace, what colour is gonna turn? If I take that brass and burn it in a furnace, what colour is gonna turn? Black. So what colour is Christ? Paint upon tables. So you thought he was white before. Yeah. But everyone thought he was a so-called white man. Until they read the Bible. He had woolly hair and brass feet as if they burned in a furnace. So Christ was very dark skinned. That way, that man in the church is not Christ. It's a lie. In it, sister in the back. Christ looked like us. We have to repent and keep the Israelites as, and keep the commandments as Israelites. I said, so you have to repent and keep the Israelites. <laughs> you got to repent and keep the commandments as Israelites. Uh, sometimes I speak faster than I think, you know. Words blur out. You can't do that. You have to take your time, think and speak. So what's your nationality, sister? We're trying to recap now. Nope. Come on, sister. You've been here for a minute. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Right? And you sisters, come in the word of God as well. You ain't got to look and stare. Giving us mean looks, you know. Our people are, you see what I say? Our people are mean, you know. Your own people look down upon, but everyone else you smile up in their face. You know, run to the Chinese man and get your nails shot, get your nails done. You know, run to the Indian man and get straight hair. Right? But you hate your own people. That's a curse in the Bible. Right? Go on. 2nd Corinthians Ooh, bro, gonna be 11 bad. verse 22 <laughs> Are they Hebrews? Are they who? Are they Hebrews? Is the sister Hebrew? So, and guess what? So am I. Are they Israelites? Reload, reload that, reload I want to catch you out. 2nd Corinthians 11 verse 22 Are they Hebrews? Sister, are you Hebrew? And guess what? So am I. Are they Israelites? Oh, so that's all. Second Corinthians 11 verse 22 are the Hebrews. I guess so, sister. We're the real Hebrews, right? So am I. So am I. You are as well, right? <laughs> right, Reed? Are the Israelites? Are they who? Are the Israelites? Sister, you're Israelite. Guess what? So am I. So am I. Right, Reed? Are they the seed of Abraham? Are the seed of Abraham? He came out Abraham, Isaac. He came out Isaac, Jacob. What was Jacob's name changed to? Israel. When he wrestled with the angel. And then we have the Hebrew Israelites, right? Hebrew is the language, Israelite. Sister, you, you ain't got to walk around, sister. Come get your heritage. You believe in God? I believe in Jesus Christ. So come, let us show you about Jesus Christ. How did Christ look? How did Christ look? Yeah. Yeah, how did the people in the Bible look? You see, you see how people are there? You see how people are? 
They'd rather walk up and talk than talk to the men of the Lord, than talk to your own brothers. I guess, how do you talk to them? How, how, how? By wearing pants. Take the pants off and put a dress on. When you wear pants, you're in sin. See that? And how they put the seed of Abraham, son of man, and put the seed of man. It's a second you came to the Lord, but Pastor, you haven't asked me to get home from Bingham, Pastor. Where are you from? Yeah, Scotland. Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. Yourself? Scotland. Oh, I'm from the land of Israel. By the way? Yes. yes. I got to Jamaica by what? Slave to slave to. And okay. then I ended up in England by what? Green Grass Right, okay. So, that's. Sister! 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 So, you got the um, YouTube yeah. channel on the flyer. Peace and blessing, yeah? Yeah? So, Scot the Scottish people. Scottish people. Okay, good. So, so, how, so um, I'm sure you're aware of the Irish and Scottish and Welsh. The Irish Catholic, pastoral Catholic. Oh, so you're, you're Irish Catholic. Okay, good. Okay. 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 Because the reason why I said you're praising the Most High is because the real Irish people are what? The real Irish. The real Irish. Cut out and Irish. Irish just means black. Oh, okay. Have you seen the film uh, Commitment? No, I might go and look that up. Describe the double nose as the blacks of Ireland. That's what I said, I remain sure. black. Yeah, That's what I said, all praise to the most high. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm talking before I'm thinking. Let me take my time. So what, what is it you're doing here? So we're preaching the word of God to... Let me get them as it's going to be. What denomination? No denomination. Okay. That's man-made religion. Yeah. Causing war. Uh, Visions. So that was a man who was a bit, right? By who? Holy man. Oh. Psalm 68. I don't know much about the, uh, the sort of the journeys and the Senate and school philosophers, so to see how what they King James authorised the book, so that doesn't get that King James authorised the city of the Bible, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the Bishop Bible. We know, we know the history. There's been a lot of, uh, I say, confusion, but it was... I remember it, I was just kind of... Yeah, yeah, there was a pastor to the end. The reason why I'm raising my eyebrows like that because it's... Well, that was that was against the pocket for half the Bible. And I don't know if you can't add or take away. So, so if someone has a vision, this is the basis of your your sort of personal spirituality. This is our heritage. Because no. it's not a religious book. The Lord has a chosen people. Who's the Lord's chosen people? Come on, come on, come on. Well, I'm not. Yeah, it's also. So who was the Lord's chosen people in the Bible? Psalm 68 verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Great men. King James was only one. Black man. So for you, it's an obviously kind of thing. It's not really. Let me get the book of Revelation 1 and 15. Let's see how Christ looked in the Bible. And let's see if the church handed over original thing which made it about race because we didn't make it about race. They thought about the cross and made it blonde hair, blue eyes. Revelation 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet that was fine brought. Are you not feet? Is it the same colour of your face? So you are you saying it's white like that? I'm not saying nothing. Is your feet the same colour of your face? Same white like that. Is your feet the same colour of your face? Okay, so your feet gone. Okay. Now to find brass. Now so what colour kind of brass? Well, it's gold, see? Right? As if they have burnt the furnace. So if I take that gold and I burn it in a furnace, what colour is it going to go? Well, if I take that gold or anything and burn it in a furnace, what colour is it going to go? Red. Red. And then what, what colour is it going to turn off the red? Now, as I see where you're going, it's going to turn red, but then what, when it cools down, what colour is going to turn back? It's going to turn white. Nope. Okay. It'll go dark. Brass. Right. If I burn brass, what colour is brass anyway? Well, that's not the last one. It's not the ultimate relation. But what colour is brass? It's sort of a bronzy, goldy colour. It doesn't need that to burn. Let me get Revelation 2.18. We're going to get another one. Yeah, copper. The copper's brown, isn't it? No yeah. copper's brown. If I burn copper, it's going to go red. It's going to go dark. So Christ was a very dark skin man. Right. Very. Well, he's never, he's never, never denied it. What, only in the church he was? Well, I'm not very happy to break. The only people that don't deny it is the Russians. They've got their Russian icon, which is about $1,000, probably maybe $900. Pounds. 
they got the Russian icons with Moses of very so dark. Was it where his teachings not more important than I mean, I understand obviously the appropriation of the teachings and the exploitation and also then the, the changing history and the Religion well, well, on a faith on an individual level does no good than harm. Faith on an institutional level does no harm. Um, and that, so the goal, as you said, is the sort of the bottom of the nation, and actually that, and you said, well, I'm not any of the nation, which I have the same degree. And I actually think the teachings of Christ are pretty good. And if you do a have to have them unto yourself, because everybody lived like that, then the world would be a better place. But, um, but you know, before, let me stop you there. You know, Christ came to cause division. Well, see, I think he was a grieving philosopher on his day, and I think Dijonez and the Senate philosophers and the Stoics have all kind of appropriated a lot of the teachings from them. Mm. People realised how powerful he was as a philosopher, and then they thought, right, okay, we're going to build this and exploit people what? as an organisation. He was a man of God. They used to scare people and say, what a man of the most high. Is he the son of God? Yes, he was the son yeah. of the most He wasn't actually God. They were two different entities. Well, he's still the majority of the teachings. And he died and he said, he preached to the apostles. He preached to the what? Abolitionists. Revelation 3 verse 18 and unto the angel of the church in Ty Tyron, right? These things say the Son of God, who, who have his eyes unto a flame of fire, Come on. and his feet are like fine brass. Same thing, feet are like fine brass, the Son of God. Arabia. It will be the people in America who get shut down in the streets. Let me get Jeremiah 14 and 2. Modern. Hebrews 7 verse 14. And it will be the Hispanics. And it will be the Native Americans. And it will be the South of Caribbeans. So they're quite exclusive white colours. Again, it's not about colour. It's not about colour. I mean, I mean, you're discussing it about... No, you know, but the colour was taken out. You're treated by that passage. the colour in the passage. Not necessarily. The passage, the passage, the passage. If these young children knew that prior to that them, they wouldn't be stabbing up each other. They wouldn't be killing each other. They would be doing... They the still might be doing right it, there, but the they, they don't know who they are. They've been told that you're slaves, uh, 12 years a slave, Django, they've been told you're nothing, you're just a black man, that's it. You've never done anything, you've never um, contributed to society, you've never done anything. You play basketball, that's all you've been told. If you're not the son of God, like them, it would make a difference. It would make a difference. And some of them are finding out. Some of them don't care, they'd rather be on TikTok, Facebook, and do whatever they want to do. What's your motive to be here today? Wake up, I'll be here. You're going to get up, I'm going to Hebrews 7, verse 14. The children of Mosai. For it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So it's evident, meaning it's clear, evidence, read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Right, that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Christ was from the tribe of Judah. Where were the people of Judah? He did. In the West Coast of Africa. In the West Coast of Africa. Israel is now by Palestine and Arabs. How did they get them? How did they get them? By the British mandate. Well, they do. The British made an agreement and put them there. Well, it depends how far back you go. They were there before that. Yeah, but then the British put who in that land? Well, Israelis. Well, recently, yeah, but they were from that land. Yeah, but they put them in that land. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah, so they put them back in that land. So none of them are meant to be in that land. Well, they're back. Dude, they're the Israelis. Yeah. No, they're converts from Germany and Russia. So you didn't know that. I'm not entirely sure. But you I, got to do, do your research. There was never in that. The Lord said, when a true. Am I one of your people? Again, it's about your nationality and your father. Your father. Hello, are you Mormons? Are you Mormons? Who are you? What's your denomination? They're Mormons, you know. And in their Bible, it says it's a curse to have black skin. Well, I'm not one of in, your people. Again, you don't know your, how far your. Um, um, I don't know how far your lineage is. Do, do, do you think Jesus would be bothered about whether or not I was one of the people or not? Well, you think he asked for an ethnic background Woo! check? Do you want to prove it? Was it Can I prove it as well? No, listen. See, yeah. like, you know what you can prove it. Christ said, I'm not sent to the lost sheep by the house of Israel. So Christ is only sent to the Israelites. So I wasn't, I can't make I don't know who you're, I'm not going to make assumptions that you're not Israel. I don't know. Where's your father from? Let me find out why. Job in. Because I found out one of my forefathers came from Cuba. So some might be thinking, oh, you might be, might be from Africa. But hold on, one of my forefathers came from Cuba. On my father's side, if you are who your father is, listen, a man plants a seed. In this world, it's a giant. 
we might have a black woman. No, it's the man that can't see. He chooses whether it's a boy or girl. A lot of people don't know so that. So you're usurping us as well? Nope. It's what the Lord said. He said, the seed of your fathers. I don't play these games if you're not playing in Babylon. I don't play these games. You are who your father is. You play who you are? Meaning that your mindset saying you're a misogynist. I don't play them games. Well, you just said that there was the man who's more important. No, I didn't say the man more important. I said it's the man who can't see. I didn't say more important. I said he can't see. So what we can't do is put words into other people. Other marks. I never said it more than that. The man can't decide whether it's a boy or girl, right? Excuse me, sister. Does the man not decide whether it's a boy or girl by his seed? Who? Ah, see, our people don't know. I'm not someone else. A lot of people don't know anything. How do you know she's human? How do you know she's human? How do you know she's human? Sometimes we can tell by the spirit. But again, I don't know because our think people are stuck. It's genuinely thinking you can have a think about that because it's a dangerous position. Let me get the Romans here, sister. Let me show you. Because sometimes you just know of the spirit. Again, I'm not saying, I'm not condemning you. I don't know who you are. There's a lot of people that I was in Scotland, in Ireland. Again, I'm not condemning you. But again, if you are a so-called white man, you benefit from slavery. Because you're not know white, you're red. Or pink. Which is the derivative of red. I'm not black and brown. I spoke to so-called white people about it. They said, yeah, I'm not white. I'm red or pink. You're not black, you're brown. I said, yeah, you're red. You can see colours, isn't it? We're not colour blind. I don't see colours, that's Job 8 verse 8 For inquire, I pray thee of the former age and prepare thyself to search of their fathers. So you've got to search your fathers. I'm the one to do. You've got to find out who your father is. I'm not saying you're Islam, I'm not saying you're not. Because there's a lot of people in Scotland, a lot of them in Vietnam, a lot of people scattered around the around the four corners of the earth. I'm in the famine. I'm I'm in the famine. I wish you the best of luck. No one's ever been to space before. There's a glass ceiling. Um, but we don't believe in luck. We believe in the answer is doing that. It is. And that's the reason that's the reason why. Have you ever entertained That's the reason why you're not getting it. I've read from Babylon's previous thing. I've read it. What did you say? What did you get? What understanding did you get? I understood that it was a book written by men to exploit the teaching of another man. See? He tells them it's the truth. See that? But he doesn't know that so called black people who would be How many centuries was that written? How many centuries? It was the first bit of the story, the reigns of Aspen and stuff. Okay, let me get the Bible dictionary. That's a good question. So let me answer that with the Bible dictionary. Let me get numbers on the Why are you getting numbers? Numbers 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregations together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees their pedigrees after their families come on by the house of the fathers so you are who your father is playing up on tables you are who your father is now you ask about the bible right this is king james version it's on the bible anyone want to buy it get yeah, amazon right <clears throat> when elizabeth died in, eight, in 1603 the crown was passed to james the first who had been king of scotland for 37 years as James the as James the sixth, seven, several months after he ascended the throne of England, he authorized a new translation of the Bible to replace the Bishop Bible. Forty-seven of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups: three for the Old Testament, two for the New Testament, and one for the Apocrypha. You know what the Apocrypha is? Two of the groups met at Oxford. Two at Cambridge and two at Westminster when a group had completed it class, it worked, it works, it, its work was submitted to 12 men, two from each panel. Final differences of opinion were settled at a general meeting of each company in cases of special difficulty. Learned men, right. learned men outside the board of advisors were consulted. So you want to know all the timelines of when Jeremiah, when Isaiah? So you had the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, you had the Dead Sea Scrolls. You had the Fish Bible. There's so many. Yeah, yeah. Queen James put together just a piece. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 you had the Great Bible, you had the Geneva Bible, you had the Bishop Bible, you had the Thomas Matthew, you had the Miles 
Coverdale, you had so many but King Day put it together and made it the closest to the people. Right, I'm gonna go. Right? Yeah. So you can do your uh, research on the Dark Ages. Who ruled in the Dark Ages? It's wherever they were. Six of the Bible. 